Hi everyone! If you follow me on other social medias, which you should, you may have seen that I did this look a few weeks ago. I became instantly obsessed and knew I wanted to create it in different colors. I conducted a couple polls on my Instagram story, so here we are with the green version, even though it also looks a little bit blue. I'm definitely still filming with the royal blue and purple duochrome, so you can expect to see that within the next few weeks. Enjoy the video, thank you for watching. I'm starting off with just a tiny bit of eye primer. You really don't need a lot because this isn't like a blended eyeshadow look and I will be using another product for a base later on. So I'm concentrating it through my crease and blending it outwards. It's not really necessary for this look to put any primer on the lid unless you have super oily lids. I'm using Laura Mercier translucent powder to set my crease above my eye and also the little crease underneath my eye. I only set the wrinkled areas because I'm trying to prevent creasing but I didn't want to set the entire eye because I will be going back in with concealer later on to clean up the look. I'm using black eyeshadow on a number 4 brush from Glisten Cosmetics to map out the shape of the eyeliner. I'm really not sure if I should even call it eyeliner but since it isn't blended out eyeshadow. Maybe it just classifies as really thick eyeliner. I think that's what I'm going to go with here. I'm adding more black to make this outline thicker and darker and also using this opportunity to tweak the shape a little bit. By the way, this is a 125 brush from P. Louise. It's my favorite angled brush because it's super thin and precise. I'm extending the black eyeshadow into the outer portion of my lower lash line. And I'm also adding black eyeshadow along my upper lash line. The black eyeshadow really does not have to be perfect. I'm just trying to create a decently dark and thick outline. Once I'm satisfied with the shape, I'm outlining the inner corner point as well. This area, you kind of have to freestyle to fit the shape of your eye. For this look, I used my natural crease as a guide for the direction of that like downturned point. Then I connected the bottom part to my lower lash line. I'm filling in that front portion that I just outlined using Melt Cosmetics Onyx Gel Liner and a Sigma EO6 brush, which is a teeny tiny little angled brush. I'm using the gel eyeliner because it's waterproof and will stay in place a lot better than eyeshadow. I'm connecting the black along my upper lash line. As you can see, I'm not bringing the black through the center part of my lower lash line because I'm going to be filling that in a little bit later. I'm using a Glisten Cosmetics brush and some black water activated eyeliner and just making the edges super crisp. It can be difficult to get that really crisp edge with eyeshadow or gel eyeliner, which is why I opted for the water activated paint. Here you can see I messed up a teeny little spot, so I'm just going to show you how I fix it. I take a pointed cotton swab and some water or micellar water depending on the product that I'm trying to remove and I just wipe away the little spot. Then I go in and patch it up with some concealer. Finally, it's time to add some color. I'm using NYX Cosmetics Matte SFX Face and Body Paint. This is a product that once it dries down, it doesn't move so I'm working fairly quickly just to fill it all in. After I've applied that all over, I'm going in with a small smudging brush to softly blend the green into the black because I really didn't want a super harsh black outline. I'm quickly cleaning up the edge with some concealer, which technically you should save for the last step, but I'm annoying and I like to constantly obsessively fix it as I go along, so there's that. I'm using Melt Cosmetics Colibri Metal Bond Gel Eyeliner to fill in the center area underneath my lower lash line. I'm just buffing it in and blending it into the black that I've already applied on my outer and inner corner. I'm also applying this gel eyeliner along my waterline. Now for the star of the show, I'm applying Carla Cosmetics Lullaby Shadow Potion all over my lid. This product is a duochrome gel eyeshadow, but it's a really light sort of whipped type of texture. It dries down very fast, so you want to apply it quickly and make sure it's not too thick. If you do apply it too thick, it can get a little bit crumbly, just like any other gel product. If applied correctly, it has amazing staying power and it hasn't creased on me at all the few times that I've used it. I'll put my discount code for Carla Cosmetics on the screen and in the description as well. Just like I did with the last product, I'm blending around the edges carefully because I want the black outline to be soft and faded rather than a super harsh outline. I'm also adding the shadow potion to the middle area of my lower lid and blending the edges out. I'm doing some final touch-ups around the edge with concealer and now I'm going to finish up the rest of my face. I already have on foundation and concealer so I'm just quickly reviving that before going in with cream blush. 
I'm using Milani's Cheek Kiss in the shade Nude Kiss. This is my favorite cream blush. It really is my go-to because it works with a lot of different looks since it's not super cool toned pink or too like warm toned orange. It's a really nice medium. I had also already applied some cream contour to my cheeks, but I'm just going to do a little quick nose contour. I'm adding in some highlights with a super light concealer. This is the e.l.f. Camo Concealer, I believe in the lightest shade. I'm setting my entire face with Laura Mercier's Translucent Powder. As usual, I'm using Charlotte Tilbury's Filmstar Bronze and Glow to add in some powder contour. The downside to doing your eye makeup before your face is you have to dodge the edge of your eye makeup when applying contour, so just gotta be careful of that. For my highlight, I'm using the light duochrome shade from Carla Cosmetics Romance Palette, and I'm just applying that sparingly on my cheekbones. My eyebrows are a magnet for face products, so once I'm done with the powders, I'm just adding in some brow gel. I'm using Melt Cosmetics Foxy Lip Liner to line and shape my lips. Once I've applied it, I like to go in with a small smudger type brush just to soften the edges of my lip liner. I'm filling in my lips with ColourPop's Cookie Lippy Stick, and honestly, I've been loving these lippy sticks lately. Over top of that, I'm applying a gloss called Tasty from ABH, which only exists in a tiny holiday set. Let me know if you have a dupe or know of any glosses that might be similar to this one because I am on the lookout. At this point, I decided it was time to accessorize. I was really excited to try out these new snake earrings that my mom got me. Then I remembered I have this necklace that just perfectly matches this look, and I didn't feel like it matched the earrings very well, so I went with a statement necklace. I'm finishing up the look with Lily Lashes in the style a la Moana. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really helps me out and I'm just really trying to be consistent and make a go of it here on YouTube. I seriously appreciate you and any support that you show me. I love you and I will see you in my next video.